This is Connor with Conquest HP, and this is a basic warm-up routine for pressing workouts, uh, for bench press, overhead press, push-ups, whatever you might be doing. This will kind of cover your bases. Um, those bases in this uh, in this regard are a little bit of core activation, covering shoulder mobility and activation of the muscles around the shoulder, um, and just kind of greasing that joint a little bit so that it's prepared for the movement. So first things first, uh, you just want to kneel in inline lunge. So I'm just in a basic kneeling position. Um, I have my knee down on something soft, obviously, so there's no discomfort there. I have my front foot, my rear knee, and my rear foot all in a single line. So you can line them up on a tile or on the edge of the mat or something like that if you need to, because that'll compromise my stability back and forth a little bit. And once I do that, I'm just going to raise my hands out into the side. And from here, I'm going to rotate one palm up as far as possible, trying to face it behind my body, keeping that arm nice and straight. And the other one I'm going to turn down as far as possible, trying to face it behind my body. So I'm twisting my arms separate ways. Arm stays nice and straight. I just pause there for a second and then change directions. And I just want to engage that stretch and then move, staying in this inline lunge position. So just do 10 reps back and forth like that. After you've done that, start with the elbows um, at approximately shoulder height in alignment with the shoulders. One thumb is pointing behind me here, and I'm gonna try to press that thumb behind my shoulder if I can, keeping that alignment. And the other side, I'm gonna turn my thumb down and try to point behind me this way. So I'm just touching that end range, reversing back and forth, keeping my elbows the same alignment the whole time and then I'll do both of those moves after I switch my stance so switch stance another 10 reps here another 10 reps here after you've done that it's a little bit of core stability shoulder mobility then you can go into downward dog and upward dog so uh, like the basic yoga position start and push up um, from push up, just drop the hips towards the ground, touch them towards the ground just briefly, and then push the hips up and back behind you, and just touch that stretch briefly, and just transition back and forth between these two positions for 10 reps. After you've done that, you've kind of worked that shoulder through a full range of motion, stabilizing with the chest and the pressing muscles the whole time, and then you can go right into your, uh, your pressing workout. So, if you're doing bench press, you might start with the bar. I would also do a, a set of 10 reps there, and I would just take the bar, try to rip it apart so you're creating as much tension through the upper body as possible. Nice and slow, pause on the chest. Nice and slow back up. Just focus on maximal tension. And then after that, start building up your weights, ease into your work workout, um, and then, then you can lower under control and explode up from there. And apply that to push-up, overhead press, any pressing workout.